We're going to name this structure drawn in the bottom line uh, way of drawing. First, find our longest chain. What's the longest chain? Four. It's a butane. One, two, three, four. So we've got a butane. Let's write that down. Now identify all our branches. That's our second step. What branch do we have? Uh, a methyl. Because it has one carbon. So that's a methyl. Okay, there's only one carbon on it. So now this is going to be easier to name because there's only one branch. But we have to find out, in order to make our template, what number carbon is that methyl on? It's on the second carbon. So note you can number it 1, 2, 3, 4, or you can name it, number this 1, 2, 3, 4. If I use the top set of numbers, if I use the top set of numbers, it'll give me a 2-methyl. If I use the bottom set of numbers, it'd give me a 3-methyl. I prefer the 2. It's a lower number than the 3. So this is a 2-methyl butane. All one word, no spaces. And whenever there is a number and a letter, you separate a number and a letter with a dash. So numbers and letters are all separated by dashes. Let's make it a little more fun. Name this. What's the longest chain? It's still a butane. How about the branch? Yeah, there's two of them. So it's not just a methyl, now it's a dimethyl. Dimethyl, because there's two of them. And let's number the chain one, two, three, four. So the dimethyl is on the two and the three position. You see how it's at the two and the third, second and third carbon. So you have to, it feels a little redundant in the beginning, but you have to put two, three, and the die. Okay, so you have to have the die and the two, three. So this would be called two comma three dash dimethyl uh, butane. Or if you're never saying it, you just say two, three dimethyl butane. So remember, numbers and letters separated by dashes. If you have more than one number, separate it by commas. Okay, let's make it more exciting. <coughs> yeah, oh, okay, that's fun. What's the longest chain? No, not five. Six? One, two, three, four, five, six. So the chain doesn't have to be in a particular order. It could be wherever. So this is actually a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a hexane. What are the branches? Right here. It's a dimethyl again. Dimethyl. Uh, and they're in the three and the four position. Is that my lowest set of numbers? <laughs> Yeah, you can't get any lower than that. If you number from the right-hand side, you get 1, 2, 3, 4 again. So either way, you'll get a 3, 4. So the whole name would be uh, 3, 4, dimethyl, hexane. <coughs> Let's try one more. Eight. 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 So one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's an octave. Now we've got to identify the branches. Let me circle them. There's a branch here, 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 uh, and here. See all those? Everything else is the main chain. Those are the branches. So, what are these short ones called? Methyl is going to be what methyl? Tetramethyl, because there's four of them. And then what's this one called? That's called an ethyl. Okay. Um, by the way, I go in alphabetical order when you put the branches E goes before M. So the et, it'll go etha, ethyl tetramethyl, basically. Okay, the crazy part, let's do the numbering. Okay, let me zoom in here. Okay, one set of numbering I'll do in red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The other set I'll do in green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so if we did it in red, what number is ethyl on? It's right here on five. Do you see it? Ethyl, five. Methyl now in red is three, four, six, seven. The reason I'm going through this is we want to find which set numbering from the left is one or the right is one will give us the lowest set of numbers. In green, what would the ethyl be? It'd be four. And tetramethyl in green would be two, three, four, six. Oh, is it five? Yeah. Two, three, five, six. Two, three. Which, set, which is the lower set of numbers, green or red? Green, the one on the right. Oh, and I'm so cut off. Two, three, five, six is where I wrote it right there. So I'm going to use the green. It'll give me the lower set of numbers. So this is called uh, four ethyl dash three comma four. Uh, no, shoot, I picked the wrong set. Two comma three comma five comma six dash tetramethyl. Uh, still one word, uh, octane. So that's all one word. So it'd be called 4 ethyl 2 3 5 6 tetramethyl octane. Any questions on that one? Yeah? So when you, when you have the two sets of numbers, in that case, describing each group, the group, the set of numbers is lower. Is there ever a case where go the other direction, one set would be higher and the other would be lower. Well, one's always going to be lower, the other one's going to be higher. Right, but you have 3, 4, 6, 7, 2, 3, 5, 6 is lower. You have 5, 4 is lower. Oh, I so see what you mean. Where it's swapped? Because you want to go... What if you switch numbering schemes and one set gets higher? Yeah, the other then the other set. You want to look overall. So, uh... It's, it's not per set, but it's overall. So you would go. You just add them up. And yeah, like this has a five and a five. This has a six and a six. A four and a four. What's left over? Three and seven or two and three? I'm going to take the two and three. Right. So you can kind of like cancel them out from both sides and see what's left over. And it doesn't matter if this one wins here and this one wins here. So if you just total them up, whichever. Yeah, you can also add them up. Get your calculator out, add them up. That totally works too. Mm -hmm. Whatever way you prefer. So if you can look at it, add it, it doesn't matter.